In this episode, we'll look at building a little Discord bot, specifically with Discord's slash command feature. So something like, for example, this here, we have a new promise command, we'll say, finally, record the Discord bot episode. And we can send off that command. And then we get something back. Okay, we have a new challenge created and once we've completed the challenge we can come back and then we can resolve it with promise resolve and then ideally we'll put the youtube youtube uh url in here and then our challenge is uh, completed so this is just kind of a little um, bot interaction and we'll look at how we can do this now um there's a great tutorial for this uh, from our friends over at Dino. Uh, so you can do this with um, Dino deploy as well, which is really nice. And so we'll just go ahead and do kind of this little um, sort of hello bot um, example here and step through this. So what we'll need to do is first we'll need to create a new application on the discord developer portal. So we'll go um, over here to the um, developers portal, we'll say new application. And we'll just say, edgy edge bot. And we'll create this bot. Um, and then in the next step, what we need is we need to um, go to the bot sections and add um, a bot. And so we'll go here to our bot sections, we'll add a bot, yes, let's do it. Um, and we then need um, uh, a bot token. So this bot token is very important to be kept secret. So what we can do is let's go ahead and create a new function, superbase functions, new discord bot. Um, and now let's open this up in um, VS code. And so in our discord board, let's create a new dot env file. So important, you know, make sure that your git ignore has dot env because we don't want to um, commit these to source control. Uh, and then we can get our um, bot token. And then we can uh, copy the bot token. We'll do discord bot token. And as I mentioned, make sure you keep this one very much uh, secret. Okay, and then what we can also do, we can uh, go and copy our um, application ID. And then we might also need our public key. So let's copy that as well. Discord public key. And then we have all our things um, in one place here. Okay, great. So in the next step, we'll need to register our uh, slash command. The way this works is we're making um, a request to the Discord API, a post request specifically um, with our client ID um, to the commands endpoint. And then we're um, adding a new uh, command here and we'll just call it hello, uh, give the command a description and then um, some options for the command. So this uh, all can be found in um, the Discord developer documentation. So if you say Discord API register new slash command, then hopefully we'll find if we go here, Discord um, commands, application commands, and then we'll find here um, our slash commands. Um, that's it. And so you can see kind of how um, you can build sort of these slash commands um, together. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, just let's copy this in here. Um, so our bot token is um, this one. 
And then our, our client ID is this, our application ID. And then we can just copy out this command and run it as um, a curl command. And so then from the uh, Discord API, we get back the response with kind of our registered um, command details. Okay, so now we have that command put together. Um, let's actually, before we create the, um, the slash command handler, um, so our function, uh, let's actually go ahead and um, invite our uh, slash command to um, kind of the Discord server. And so we'll go to our OAuth2 section and then we'll need the application commands um, selected as um, permissions. So we go OAuth2, uh, we'll say URL generator and we say application um, commands, this one here. And so we can copy um, this URL and that's what we can use to uh, invite our bot to our Discord channel. Uh, so our edgy edge bot, we want this in our uh, bot test server. So we'll authorize the bot. And so now if we go um, back here, uh, we see our new edgy edge bot here and we see it has a hello command um, set up. But obviously now if we were this uh, to use this, it doesn't work because it's not actually being um, responded to. So now let's wire this up and um, respond in our edge function. So we can do, uh, we can just copy um, this code here and then we can step through um, kind of how it works. So let's go ahead, give that um, a save. Uh, and so here in our index, um, what we're doing is we'll just paste in this entire thing. And so we're using um, something here that's called SIFT. So SIFT is um, a small routing library uh, that helps us here with the verification of the request and all of such. So in our case, because we called our application um, Discord bot, so um, in Superbase, what happens is the, the, the base path for this function will be slash discord hyphen bot. So we'll say, okay, when we get to um, discord bot, then we execute here this home handler function. Uh, and so in a first step, what we'll do is we'll um, validate the request. So there's a bunch of signatures that we can um, validate. For that verify signature, we need the Discord um, public key. So in our uh, env file, you can see we've um, stored that in here. So that's what's later injected into our function to um, validate the signature and validate that the request is actually coming um, from Discord. Uh, and then this one will be um, an option. So we don't have kind of a type um, for that, but we can we can look at kind of making that type um, later. But in this case, it will be um, the option will, um, I believe have, so a name that is a string, and then it has a value that is also a string. So let's type it like this for now. Okay, and so there's um, two different types of requests that, that we're checking. So actually, a type one is kind of a ping request. So when we're setting up our um, API handler, then we're getting this ping uh, being sent to us. And so if we have kind of a type one, then what we do is we just re reply basically with a pong. And then in the second case, so type two, is an application command. Um, and in that case, we can then get out um, our um, name from the options and we can reply um, with a type four, which is kind of a response, sort of a message below um, response message. 
Okay, so what we now need to do is, you know, in order for uh, Discord to be able to call our function, um, we can run our function locally and then we can um, do an ngrok tunnel uh, to, to make our function to expose, expose our locally running function um, to the internet. So what we can do is um, we already have, so um, we have our Superbase start already running. Um, and so our Superbase stack is locally running. So what we can say is Superbase functions serve. Um, we need to apply the uh, verify, uh, the no verify, no verify JWT flag. Um, because this needs to be pu publicly accessible um, from the Discord server, and then we'll actually verifying the Discord server signature in the function. So we say no verify JWT, and then we need to inject our um, env variables. And so our env file is um, at uh, superbase functions Discord bot dot env. Uh, yes, and we need, of course, our function name as well. So we want to serve our Discord bot. There we go. And then we're starting um, the Discord bot function. Uh, and so the way this works, uh, even though this by default outputs localhost 8000, but we're routing the Discord, um, we're routing the, the functions locally um, to localhost 54321. So what we'll say is ncroc um, HTTP uh, 54321. So that will be, um, and uh, we can uh, open this up, we can see at uh, see the requests. Uh, and so 54321, and then we'll have slash functions slash v1. So that's where our functions are at. And then slash discord hyphen bot. So this is where um, our function is now available. You can see method get is not allowed for this URL. Um, so we're only handling post requests from um, the discord API. But so this is what we can use now to test uh, our discord bot. So we can go back we can go into um, the general information for our bot. And here is an interactions endpoint URL. So here we put in our endpoint URL, Discord bot. We save the changes. And now what we can see is what actually happened here. If we inspect this, um, we saw here that we had um, a request coming from uh, the Discord API. So we can see we had kind of the uh, signature headers here from Discord. So ncroc is a really, really handy tool um, to test things like webhooks locally. And then you can see we just replied with um, the type one. So this now means that we're uh, hooked up to um, our Discord bot is hooked up. So if we now do the same command again, hello slash Thor, we'll get our answer back, hello Thor. Uh, and there we are, we can see that the request that was being made. Um, so we have uh, tons of information in there. We have the um, data name options, um, the name and the value. And um, we have a token down here. We have the member, some user details. You, you can see my username down here and all of such. Um, yes, and so this is practically how we can build uh, a little slash command handler, let's say hello world, um, hello discord. And obviously we can um, modify it from here and have more commands and make it a bit more interactive. But this is how we can get started building slash commands with Superbase Edge functions. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. <laughs>